So I'm sitting here, I'm in a hangout with uh, Anthony Craig, Hip Flip and Mama. Um, but I'm working on some railroad track train set stuff, all kinds of stuff. This actually came in the other day. This was a, a huge transformer buy. I paid $40 for this whole tote of transformers. I'm going to try to sort through it a little bit later. Uh, hopefully in this video. I paid $40 for this tote and I freaking killed it. There's a lot of stuff there. This is stuff that I've already taken pictures of. Um, if you're ever out buying train stuff, uh, here is a good name to look for. This uh, Marklin or whatever, uh, that's really good stuff. This is brand new. The price tag on that was $48. Um, I got this pier set here, which is really cool. And then I've got this Arnold uh, N. It's an N scale uh, Burlington Northern engine. And then some more of this uh, Marklin. It's like a lighted thing for a flatbed car. It's really cool. Um, let's see here. And I'm putting these in bundles of 50. So there's a hundred of those right there. I've got some extras here. And that's a bundle of 50 of these. So I'm going to put them in bundles and probably list them that way. And uh, then I've got to go through all of this stuff here. And I will be done with this train stuff. I do have some stuff in the back that I'll show you in just a little bit. Um, I've got a really neat Pennsylvania uh, railroad engine back there in scale. The in scale stuff is worth quite a bit. But the uh, HO stuff isn't that great. I'll probably end up putting most of this in my antique store i've got some tyco there's a burlington northern some little ho scale stuff in there um nothing union pacific golden eagle just uh i paid 80 dollars for all of this and then in the back there's another engine um back there and it will sell it will sell for probably 100 bucks by itself and i'm hoping this other engine sells for 100 and then the rest of this stuff I'll probably get another hundred bucks out. My wife's in the back sniffing quilts. I bought that quilt at the auction last night. Bring that up and let's look at it. Okay, they're over here manhandling this quilt. That's my father-in-law. And, well, of course, you guys know my wife. But this is a beautiful quilt that I picked up at the auction last night. Um, I'm going to put that in my store. Probably maybe take it home and wash it. Um but we'll probably put it in the store for like 60 bucks. I think that's a pretty good price for that quilt. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's got a beautiful quilting on the back. It's got a few spots. Yeah, it's got a few spots, like a few small uh, soiled spots, but they're pretty cool. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. It is beautiful, yeah. Okay guys, so you'll see here that I've separated all of this train track into bundles of 50. So I've got one, two, three, four bundles of 50. So that's, you know, 200. And I've got 238. And then I've got 251. And then I've got some other random pieces here. So there's over 250 pieces of engaged train track here. And it'll all go on one lot on eBay. I think I can probably get... 60 bucks 50 bucks shipped 60 bucks shipped maybe it's a lot of really good quality train track that's definitely good stuff and um i think that once it's all said and done with that this could very well pay for a big uh majority of the train stuff that i bought the second lot the one that i paid 58 bucks on it would be nice if this would pay for all of it but we'll see Okay guys, I am taking stuff out of this tote and I'm pricing it and I'm putting it in this tote. I bought this whole tote at the auction yesterday full of stuff. It was just a whole gob of stuff and I paid five bucks for it. It's got Coleman stuff in here. I have no idea what this is. We were just discussing like is it for cooking your hamburgers? We don't know. Sausage? I have no idea but I'm going to put it in the booth because it's one of those and I don't think it'll sell real good in my store so that's why we still have the booth so we can move stuff like this through the antique store um, I have this this is kind of cool it's a 
brittle Coleman for like campfire cooking. Um, I did buy this. I bought all of this for five bucks for this. Um, I have not looked that up yet. It's an Infinity System Tour. It's by Carrier. Um, it's like the thermometer for the. Uh, it's the thermometer for the uh, uh, heating and cooling system. So. I think that this is well worth the five bucks that I'm going to be spending on the unit. And there's a couple of other things in here, but this one here should be the money. I'm going to look it up real quick and we'll see what it's worth. Okay guys, so this is the Infinity System Tutor, the thing that I just bought at the auction last night for five bucks. I um, opened it up and it's brand new in the box, it's still got all the plastic wrap around everything. And this is the what it's listed for right there listed for three hundred and eighty nine dollars so that'd be a five dollar flip into three hundred eighty nine dollars I would take less obviously but that's a really good trip to the auction that's an excellent trip so I picked up this the other day it was probably one of the biggest beanie babies that I've ever seen so I picked up this big lion and uh, it is pretty amazing it's pretty cool they sell on eBay for like freaking $29 to $39. And this one is in excellent condition. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get that thing listed tonight. Hopefully it sells. Uh, they sell really well. So if you ever see the large beanie babies or the Thai animals, pick them things up. I didn't get to any of the um, transformer stuff today. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. Those are gonna those are gonna get taken care of tomorrow and um, we have to bring in all the stuff now so we're about done for the day wife's already shut down the register had a lot of traffic we just need to get a lot more stuff in here a lot more cool little stuff that people can put in their hands and walk out the door with okay guys I was so busy yesterday that I only got to film a little bit for my YouTube channel so today is day two of <laughs> that clock's going off today is day two at the antique store so i'm going to combine the uh, the past two days into one video um i did just sell something i got home last night and got real busy listing and i sold this big box right here it is a marklin uh i don't know it's in like german or something but it's this little item right here sold that for 18 bucks i bought that at the auction the other night out of that train lot that uh, you, I, you'll see in the, you've already seen because I filmed that yesterday. But this one little box I paid, uh, I paid like $55 for that whole lot of stuff. And I listed uh, one train out of that that'll pay for everything. The engine will pay for everything in that lot. And then this is $18. So it's pretty cool. Look how big this is, man. That's that, that's that box. Yeah, I know. I went back through and was looking at the photos. I'm like, that thing is tiny. It is tiny. It's real little. <laughs> what are you doing, Piglet? The first one, it was just on the table. So yeah. There wasn't any scale there. And then the next picture, it had you holding it in your fingers. I'm like, holy crap. Did we ship that for free? Yeah. I think yeah. So. Yeah, I think so. So it's like, so it'll it'll cost like two something shipped. Yeah. So three shipped so yeah. that's not too bad though that's still pretty decent profit i'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna aggravate uh the guy that's working on my toilet i'm gonna go down there and show you what it's like to be a business owner this is my buddy sam he's down here uh setting backwards on my toilet he had some bad sushi last night <laughs> but really what he's doing is he's fixing it because we have to keep coming over here shutting the water off because uh there's something wrong with that toilet so He's uh, going to fix it for me so that we no longer have to uh, worry about turning the uh, water off every time one of the kids come down here and want to take a load off their mind. Have you, <laughs> have you figured out what's wrong with it yet? Yeah. Replaced this. Okay. Replaced a new flush master valve inside. Okay. Put a new supply line on. Oh, that's good. Put a new shut off there that's, on. That's even better. Yeah. So, so now I'm fixing to hook it up and see if it works. See if it works and doesn't leak. Yep. So that's the joy right here. Of uh, he he works for himself. He has about 17 kids that he's got to support. Oh my gosh. 
He does. <laughs> Seventeen kids. It's crazy. I got five boys. He got five. He's got five boys. This feels like seventeen. Yes, but sometimes. Yeah. But seriously, he uh, he's a good Christian man. He works for himself. Uh, works hard to provide for his family. So anytime I have a problem, he's my go-to guy. He fixes everything from my plumbing to my lawnmower. Uh, he's my guy. Whenever uh, you hear people talking about having a guy, he's my guy. He's the guy that does all the work that I don't know how to do. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back upstairs. I'm going to leave him alone for a while so he can get this finished. And then uh, he can get paid and get on his way because I'm sure he's got a lot more work to do today than uh, messing around with, with my toilet. I'm going to walk in through the library here. I got to go in and talk to a friend of mine, Tim, the guy that does all my graphics for my web, uh, for my front of my store. I'm going to go in and talk to him about a clothing deal. I just walked, I'll tell you about it in a little bit, but I just walked through all the buildings over there and there's a ton of vintage clothing. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to talk to him about um, uh, maybe getting a hold of some of the people that buy vintage clothing so we can get this stuff out of these buildings so that they can be rented out because I'm tired of looking at the brown paper across the street. But, and then I got to send some letters to the post office, stickers that you guys bought from me. I appreciate everyone that's bought stickers. You're freaking awesome. Love you. But yeah, I'm busy. So I'm going to go take these to the post office and talk to Tim. So I just left the library and I was talking to Tim. Today's his birthday, so that's pretty cool. So if you watch this ever, Tim, happy birthday, brother. Um, talk to him about doing another design for me. I want him to do a Halloween themed, either a Halloween themed uh, Nevermore Antiques or a Halloween themed Fredericktown logo. And uh, I want to be offering, if you guys would be interested, let me know if I did a Halloween themed uh, Nevermore Antiques logo. Would you guys be interested in getting that uh, as a sticker? Uh, if, so, if so, let me know. That's starting to rain. So I'm going to take these down here. I'm going to drop them off. And then we're going to walk back to the shop. And, ooh, nice, nice dry spot. We're going to walk back to the shop. And I'm going to start taking some more eBay photos. Because I've pretty much... Uh, look at this. They're building a new building here in Fredericktown. First time a new building's been built here in forever. It's going to be a $500,000 building. It's absolutely insane. We've got an absolutely beautiful post office here. But I'm going to take these inside and put them in the drop so I can uh, know that they'll be picked up. I don't, I don't know what time they stop collecting mail out here at the box. But uh, hopefully... I can uh, get some stickers made. I like to do like maybe some special stickers. If you guys would be interested, maybe even some t-shirts. Uh, maybe do like a Teespring thing to where you guys could order uh, t-shirts if that's something you would be interested in. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys, but it would, excuse me, it'd be cool. Okay, so it's starting to rain now. And uh, I just went and bought an American flag because I wanted an American flag for the front of the store. And then I purchased a set of brackets so that I can kind of shore up that uh, door display that I made. Uh, I spent like 12 bucks, but it's cool, the flag I love, because I want a flag for the front of the store. I'm pretty patriotic like that. Okay guys, I wanted to show you guys, remember the other day I went to the auction and I bought this, I paid five bucks for it. We just sold it for 275 I listed it for 350 I gave them a pretty decent discount on it I gave them a $75 discount but that is a good deal right pig right thumbs up there we go that's a good deal so yeah that was a that made for a great day I sold that and then I sold a Nintendo 64 for 70 so that's pretty good that's a pretty good deal I don't know what all we've sold in store today but we're not going hungry tonight right pig we're gonna eat steak Steak tonight, pig. We're standing outside of our store right here, and um, we just seen somebody come bailing over the top of that building right there, and there were two guys up on top of the building, and now the, we only saw one. We I, there were no. I seen a guy with a with a light on his head, and then I seen the I seen the guy. The other guy had a phone or something that was lighting it up, and I told the guy that that white truck down there that's his truck, and he owns or he's the executor of all of these buildings here. And I was like, I thought maybe it was him. But then when I seen him coming out from down there, I know, I was like, no, that ain't his truck. That ain't him. <coughs> so uh, I went down there and told him, well, he, he went around to the back and we've been hearing some yelling coming from behind the building here. And then the cops, 
pulled over there and they went behind the building so we're not exactly sure what is going on up there but it's interesting <coughs> we've been having a lot of trouble with crime in this town and uh we don't we we don't we don't know what's going on but we're gonna find out well we'll get to the bottom of this tonight leaving there's the police there and a whole bunch of people standing back there of course nobody knows anything about nobody knows anything about he was up on the roof but when the guy came to the back there were two guys that fit the description of the people that were up on the roof jumping into a car getting ready to drive off because you know that's a freaking piece of crap bar back there that a bunch of druggy losers hang out in i'm sorry shouldn't be so cynical but when you work hard and people want to uh, destroy everything that you work for, work hard for, steal from you, it just gets kind of old after a while. But yeah, so pretty amazing. I don't know. That's pretty much, I guess, going to be the end of this video. Uh, you've seen a little bit of everything over the past two days. We've uh, we've <laughs> we've freaking um, we've had a good time. So hope you guys enjoy. Hope you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. I uh, appreciate you watching. God bless you guys. Keep on digging, keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together sticks together. Good night. I like everything about you.